just wanted to leave you with a couple of quick tips. Some of these tips are for long-term collectors. What we do here at Wolf Mountain is really for a short-term collection. And if you want something to last for 10, 20, 30, 100 plus years, then there's some things that you're going to want to do a little bit differently. So first of all, uh, no matter how long you want to have it around for, make sure you store your collection flat. Okay, So if you're doing the binder like we do just to make it easy, don't store it straight up. You want to store it flat. So our paper is 100 pound cardstock. You'd want to make sure that your 100 pound cardstock, 110, 90, something like that, you want to make sure that that paper is acid free. Okay, so over the years, over time, if it's not acid free, it can have uh, a negative effect on your specimen. But for our purposes, it's totally fine. But acid free paper is something that uh, a serious herbarium collection would use. Also, instead of tape like this, just scotch tape, this also uh, has to do with the acid free aspect of it. A lot of people will use a diluted. Elmer's glue to actually, to actually glue their specimen down. That's really nice if there's lots of leaves and you just kind of dilute your Elmer's glue with water and then you use a paintbrush, a little paintbrush to paint the back side of your specimen and then you stick it on the paper and it actually kind of is glued. <laughs> it's glued right down to the paper. There's specialty tapes for herbarium collections and there's also something called herbarium paste and that paste is just a special glue made specifically for gluing your specimens, attaching them to your page. So keep that in mind for if you want your collection to last a long, long, long time.